Do you want to be a salesperson or a marketer? Imagine this. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping and the humidity is low with temperatures in the mid-70s. You decide that it's a great day to row your boat down the stream. As you paddle along, you enjoy the serenity of the slow current and the sights and sounds of a quiet afternoon. Then suddenly, you hear the screams of someone in distress, 100 yards down the river, you see someone drowning. You paddle down the river as fast as you possibly can to offer your assistance. The drowning victim is screaming, help, help me, please, I'm drowning. You row to his side and toss him a life preserver. Your downing victim says, to your surprise, what, and oh, and oh, I don't want a blue life jacket, I want an orange one. Here's where things get interesting, the salesperson will try to convince him that his blue life jacket is just as good as an orange jacket and he needs to take it or else he'll drown. The salesperson will continue on about all the benefits of his blue life jacket in an attempt to convince the drowning person why his life jacket is better. The salesperson might even jump in the water and force it on him. The marketer will take a different approach, the marketer will say, okay, and let the drowning victim drown. While the salesperson continues to convince his desperate drowning victim that he needs a blue life jacket instead of an orange one, the marketer continued his journey on down the river and has already saved four people who wanted the blue life jacket. The business world, forgive my oversimplification, works the same way. Business owners often confuse the difference between marketing and sales. So, let me ask you again. Do you want to be a salesperson or a marketer?